Pie, it's Sugar May, and I thought today I would share with you guys um, my swimsuits that I ordered. So here's the package, it just came today from FedEx. Um, one of my girls on that I watch, I follow on YouTube, had recommended this company, and there's really some good deals. I went on there and uh, for bathing suits. So she's a plus size girl. She tried some bathing suits on, and I'm hoping that they fit me. So let's throw that over there. The first one is leopard. Animal print. You know, we all, all those girls love animal print. So here we go. <laughs> Pull that over there. Uh, my fan, it's kind of warm in here. It's warm outside. Ooh, baby, look at this. Ooh, so this is a, I don't know if you can see it, but it has this uh, ruffle up one side and, you know, a little strap on this side. So it's got these um, padding in here, which I wouldn't wear because, I don't know, I, I guess I'd have to try them on, but see, they come right out. And I'm just not a padding girl. So, whew. oh, this is going to be so cool. So it's got this little half shoulder on one side. And in these, in this one, I got, I believe I, on both of them, I got a 3X. So the ruffle goes all the way uh, in the front, around to the back. They got these little fun sleeves. Now, I have to try these on later, and I'll do another video of how they look on me. But uh, they were only like $20 a piece. So that's the first bathing suit. It was a full pe uh, one piece. So hold on a minute. I got to turn this fan on or I'll be dying in here. We'll be flooding it out. <laughs> so try to put it back far enough that it doesn't interfere with you guys, but <sighs> Vegas weather. So this is the second one. And it's this company called Esperiala, E-S-P-R-L-I-A, Esperiala. Oh. So this one here is a two-piece. Now I know you're probably saying, you're wearing a two-piece. Here's the bottoms. And you see they got little ruching at the side and ruching in the front so it makes it really nice they're high-waisted bottoms so it's a bright yellow and the top is I've been wanting a bathing suit like this I tried to get one before and uh, I guess I didn't really pay attention to the chart so the model that models them, she'll give her, um, sorry, sweaty, she'll give her um, sizes and then her physical sizes and then she'll list the size of the bathing suit and then that she bought and you, you can look it up and compare, oh, she got that, it's a little bit smaller than her measurements or a little bit bigger, whatever. So the first time I ordered, uh, from a company like this, which are overseas, uh, I went 
by a 5X. I just went by measurements. And it was so big. <laughs> it was crazy. But because, um, and I wanted to get a refund on it. And they just told me, just keep it, give it away, do something else with it. You know, they didn't want it back. So I ended up um, gifting it to a cousin that could wear it. I, and uh, so that worked out great. It was a nice bathing suit, but it was just too big. It was the same style as this one. And so I had a little trouble with this one at first. Uh, the YouTuber is Taryn Denise. And she, I put a link down below uh, for her, um, you know, site. So you can always check her out. But uh, she, uh, let me get, she uh, would, uh, <laughs> I'm stuttering here, trying to find my, my words. But she tried them on, and then, like I said, she would give her size, and she she had given a discount to get these bathing suits. And I thought, okay, that's great. So I went on the site. I think the discount only was for um, uh, regular priced items, and the items I got were on sale. So it didn't really work. I placed the order. Then... Um, I never, I never got nothing. They, they charged me for shipping, which was like five bucks, six, four dollars. But I was never charged for the actual outfits. So I was like, oh, what is going on here? So I got a hold of them. And my bank, they said, you need to check with your bank. And I was like, what? Now I had already in one day had done two bank cards because I thought maybe something was wrong. And then I did um, PayPal. Because, you know, I'm always blaming myself first that I'm doing something wrong. So then I called my bank, and what it was, they had just seen, they thought it was suspicious. Because I had done, like, three transactions. They were, like, from overseas. So they put a hold on it, and which was good. I thought, wow, that's pretty good. My bank got alerted and put a hold on it. So that was great. Um, and when we talked and I explained to them, I'm trying to buy these items. They said, okay, we'll take the hold off. We just thought it was suspicious looking. I thought, okay, that's great. So I went back and ordered them and really looked at the size because you know, a bathing suit, you almost need it skin tight because once you get in the water, that water is going to expand it. And if you have it too big, you're going to come out and your bathing suit is going to be falling off of you. So it's better to have it smaller than it is bigger. So I went back and changed my size to 3X. Now here's uh, the top to this other bathing suit. Now. And ta-da! Da, 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 da. <laughs> so see, it's got this little, little front. So it'll cover your belly. This also has padding in there, which is removable which i like because you know if i just want to wear it this let's say say we go swimming and afterwards we're going to go have lunch i can put the padding back in here and throw on some bottoms with this and then i've got a cute little top to wear and it's got a little bit of support not so much like a bathing suit but as far as swimming, I don't really need, I don't really care for padding. So the back is a little shorter. I know it's kind of hard to see until I actually try them on. But the back is a little shorter. Uh, there you go. See? And it's yellow inside. Uh, well, white. I'm sorry. Pale yellow. But I just love it. It's got little, uh, like, pineapples on there. So what I'll do is uh, I'm all dressed and I'm sweaty. I don't want to be trying on bathing suits right now. But later on, uh, probably as I'm going to bed or getting ready for bed, then I'll try them on and I'll take some pictures of them and we'll put them on out there so you can see what they look like. But in the meantime, I think these are so cute. Um, 
and I can't wait to wear them. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm glad I got them. Um, this is for when my sisters come out here in May, and they'll be staying at um, Excalibur here in Las Vegas. And so we'll be going there to the pool, laying out and swimming. Um, I want to mention, I got a little uh, sloppy bun on. I know my hair is short, and um, but I just pulled up the top, kind of pin this little sloppy bun on, and, you know, it gives me a little style. Like I said, it's always nice to kind of fix yourself up, and, and even though this is just a little hair piece up here, you know, gives me a little different look, you know, instead of the way my hair is. <laughs> my hair don't want to act decent half the time. So, this little headband, I crocheted it. I put a little button on it. And, uh, yeah, I like it. I have to uh, send some of my YouTubers some of my little headbands I made. So, but that's pretty much it. What I wanted to show you is uh, uh, my bathing suits. And I wanted to say... I spent like 20, I want to say $21 on each bathing suit. And you can't beat that. The quality of these, I mean, the material feels good. They stretch. They feel like a, you know, bathing suit you would get here in town uh, for 40, 50 bucks. I mean, I was looking. <clears throat> so, you know, to get a bathing suit, you got to pay like 50 bucks. We used to pay what eight dollars for a bathing suit maybe 12 that was the most and now they're like 50 bucks it's the same material the material hasn't changed this you know it's the same uh stretchy material that you could get wet but will dry you know so i don't know why sometimes i it just amazes me how stuff like that um changes in pricing from twelve ninety eight to fifty one ninety nine or whatever you know, it's the same bathing suit. It's the same kind of bathing suit. So, uh, I mean, I don't have no gold on it or nothing, so it shouldn't go up in price. But I did get these. Uh, like I said, I I looked around in stores and I'll see a top. Uh, even like on Old Navy, they had tops for $21. I thought, you know, good, or $24.99. And I thought, okay. But then the bottoms were $25, so you're paying 50 bucks for a bathing suit. And I thought, eh, you know, if you go swimming a lot, um, I mean, I don't have a pool. I love to swim. My sister here has a pool, and... Um, you know, I, I just don't get to go swimming as much as I used to. And, um, but if you're going, like, these bathing suits are going to last me for years. Uh, unless I get smaller or bigger, you know, where the size won't fit me. But as far as the bathing suit, a lot of times bathing suits only yet last a couple seasons if you're swimming a lot. You know, you're washing them, swimming, washing them, the chlorine, whatever's going on. Or if you swim in a lake, in the ocean, the salt water. So, you know, to pay 50 bucks for the bathing suit that may last you a season or two seasons, I, I don't think is too practical. But, you know, who am I? <laughs> so that's what I wanted to um, get with you guys about and let you know. And then later, I'll post some pictures, probably on Instagram and Facebook. So, all right, I'll see you later, alligators. This is Sugar Bay, signing off.